Hi friends, today I am bringing you a brand new stationery line from Mexico. It is Monarca Stationery. They graciously sent their first run of inks, which is two sets of four, and then one special edition. One unique uh, aspect about these boxes is that all four of them in one set make up a full picture. So you just saw the Caribe set and here is the Semi Desierto. You will see a various clips here in this movie or video just because I had so much I wanted to show you, so I will be swatching in my Hobonichi using Tomoe River paper, um, but also because we know that that specific paper may not be available in the future, I will be using my Cosmo Airlight notebook uh, for your review. You are going to be seeing a one-of-a-kind piece from Blue Star Crafts here in here in the yellow. Uh, only one of it exists in the world, and I don't think they will ever make another one unless, like, in the far, far future, uh, when they're able to, because it was a difficult piece to make. Uh, this usually comes in a black or a walnut color. Here I'm pulling out my. Cosmo Airline and my Hobonichi to use. I wanted to show you a little close up of the box. Uh, as you can see, all four sides do make up that, that full picture. Uh, on the bottom, you have the website, and on the top, you have their now iconic logo, which is in the shape of a butterfly. As you can see each bottle comes full like with the capped wrapped so there's no leaking um, and a small little card of the now or as is full collection of inks the first 1,000 pieces will be coming with a, a vial holder as well as a pen rest I mean that's the same thing uh, all made out of wood handmade in Mexico Here's a, again a little close up of that bottle. Look at the branding. I love the label. It's pretty, it's beautiful, it's nice to look at. It reminds me a little bit of the Birmingham Pen Company bottles. I'm just gonna let you watch here. Uh, it's very self explanatory. I'm just gonna do some quick swatches in my Hobonichi weeks. I put the names on the bottom left, but this one is Manglar. Um, it is a deep green color. Um, it's a beautiful color, kind of surprised me. It's almost ashy, so it is pretty unique uh, in my opinion. The next one up is Mar Caribe, which is a very, very bright uh, turquoise blue. It really does remind me of the water in the Caribbean, so that was pretty cool. This next one up was pretty unique because I have not seen anything like it. It is Arena Blanca or White Sand, and I was surprised with the color and how close it was to the actual uh, inspiration, and it's also very readable. Here is Cenote. This is a shimmering ink, and you may see me shaking it in the video, but I didn't shake it enough. So I should have pulled it out of its uh, holder and really giving it a shake because the shimmer is very heavy, and a lot of it was still settled on the bottom. So I don't think I got a lot, but 
uh, just shake it very well uh, if you think you're shaking it enough you have not so give it another shake Next up is the Semi Desierto set. This first one is Cardona, which is a shimmering ink. And this is when I realized, okay, I really need to shake this bottle. So I gave it a very, very nice shake. And I did get a lot of the shimmer on the page. I will show you a little bit later. This, I noticed that um, the color was pretty strong. So, you know, make sure if you're using a dip pen or whatever, um, a cartridge or a converter that it's something that you may not mind that it gets stained because it did hold the color quite a bit more than the others this is cielo cruel a beautiful beautiful blue now cielo cruel and the other one the last one in this lineup that i put uh, tierra colorada are based on a poem um, I'll try to link it in the description of the video um, as well as the definition of the names uh, but I don't want to take too long explaining that this green one is nopal which is cactus um, and sorry the first one Cardona is the fruit of the cactus so here you have that desert um, environment in ink right so the fruit of the cactus the sky the cactus and then tierra colorada the the red sand and this is a special edition rey jaguar now some of the profits will go to uh, help with the destruction of the habitat or just the hunting of this species. Uh, this is a shimmering ink and it's a beautiful yellow with gold shimmer. Uh, it is, well, not a yellow but more of a gold. Um, and it's got a beautiful shading so I really enjoyed it and the shimmering was pretty cool. I'm not a big shimmering guy but these were quite nice. From my talk with the owner of the brand, Mike Montero, who also has uh, currently two stores in Mexico for stationery. They are called Octante in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon. Um, these were bottled in Mexico, but they were produced by one of the biggest ink names in the industry. So these are very fountain pen friendly. So be sure of that. Look at all the colors together. The combinations were really surprising. And something I hadn't seen before, especially that Caribe said, uh, that contrast of the very, very light Arena Blanca with Manglar and with the cenote was pretty pretty cool i think my favorite is the semi desierto line what do you guys think so here i am going to be swatching in my cosmo airlight notebook this is a notebook from danica 58 i believe is a username on etsy and this was actually gifted to me by my friends in guatemala they own a stationary line or a stationary store. It's called Echt. So if you look, if you look them up on YouTube, uh, you will be able to find them, Oscar and Esther. So thank you guys very much for this gift. I love this notebook. Uh, it's my go-to for swatching and for any writing when I test out new inks, new pens. Uh, I just love seeing the crisp white. Uh, with the ink and I love how the paper just really spreads the line a little bit more because I love seeing a thick line of ink and I love seeing the actual color so this was pretty nice what I did was I copied uh, a few uh, segments of 
The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz uh, in my notebook. So I have a little section of writing as well as a nice swatch next to it. Here is that shimmering ink again. This is Cardona and you have really got to shake these bottles. Like I said before, if you think you're done shaking, you're not. Give it another shake and you will see it because since these are clear glass bottles, you will see the shimmer settle on the bottom. So you will see when you're done. I initially wanted to show you a uh, real life, not a real life, but you know, same time, real time writing and swatching but it would have been a really long video so I hope you don't mind that I sped these up and also I hope you don't get bored so <laughs> Here is my finished spread. Um, when I dedicate a spread to some new inks, I like to place them as close as possible just so I can um, see the differences, similarities. I think it's a beautiful way of testing inks. Which is your favorite so far? I really like a lot of these and they behaved really, really well. I gotta say for Cielo Cruel, which is the second color or the blue line on the right hand of the page, that was pretty decent because I didn't have to dip my the back of my pen again to, to swatch. And here is a close-up look under uh, some direct sun light. Um, so you can see the shimmer, the sheen, and just how these special shimmering inks behave, especially Cenote. Rey Jaguar and Cardona. did all of this with a glass dip pen and thank you so much for watching here is a little treat for you